Good morning guys and welcome back to Rick's journey on my weight loss plan with the Cambridge 1 to 1 diet. If you're new here, thanks. Please consider subscribing. If you want to watch anything backlogged, it's up here. I'll put the first one up here so you can have a look and follow along. I really appreciate your support and any comments, slip them down below. And like I've said before, I really do appreciate the comments and I do get back to everybody and it's really nice support group. So, yes, I'm in a caravan you can see. Yes, we own a caravan. So yeah, we do own a touring caravan, which for the last couple of years, we've actually put on a seasonal pitch and it's brilliant. It gets us away at the weekend out of home. Um, obviously with the year we've all just been hard in lockdown, it's double whammy this year, because I don't think anyone, well, we're not planning to jump on a plane. So in normal times, we've had this caravan and like I say, I'm normally office-based, digital, Ugh, full on so this is just escape and it's really good for the mental health and even last night instead of us all sat on our instagrams and playing with our phones we're all played a board uh, not plug, played uno which some of you know about we played that all night we played some other games and it was great fun good old-fashioned fun and as you saw i think you saw i was on the beach yesterday so i went for a really long walk the longest one i've been on probably over a year just out the campsite here where we're pitched up there and you're straight onto the coast brilliant so week 31 how's it gone so for me week 31 has brought the issues to a head um i'll tell you my weight loss or gain in a little bit i like to keep you hooked like i do still dealing with the nibbling if i'm honest um, and I talked to my consultant about that yesterday when I went to see him. And I'll talk to you more about that in a minute. But on the whole, it's been okay. Been on plan. Been on, I think, step two. So three products and then an evening meal. It just seems to work for me. I can do short bursts on the four products. And hey, that's off to you all out there who do that and stick to it religiously. But for me, I do it because I'm doing it for so long and I've got so long to go. I do it for so long and then I get frustrated with it and it puts pressure on me and, and I eat and all that stuff we all know and, it, and it's still there so I tend to take the pressure off with that but it's always healthy 200 calories in the evening but one thing this week's taught me is this nibbling and secret eating which I'm still doing not not like massive binging well no not massive binging just nibbling here and there privately secretly if you want to call it and I'm could give up sometimes as we all could when we're low or moods are down or we're fed up but i'm not going to but i really want to really want to explore that as to why i'm doing that and the critics say oh it's this diet it's this that no it's not it's it's this isn't it so went to see my consultant <coughs> excuse me we did talk about it open and honest of what i'm doing and we talked about why and we talked about being in the present which I, I feel I do. So every day, sort of at some point during the day. So I'm quite an early riser. So in the morning, I'll probably sit and just have a moment and really just be grateful and thankful, you know, for what I've got. I've got a great family. I've got a great job. I'm in work. <coughs> and it, I think it's really important as an individual because as we get older and we've become parents and everything, you know, before I'm... I'm at work, I'm a dad, I'm a husband, I'm this, I'm that. And one thing we try to explore is, and we all need to do this, is what do you do for you? And this is something I've talked about before, but we don't really, as we get older, it's all about our children, isn't it? And doing a good job and all the rest of it. So we had a really good chat about that. And I don't know what that is, but I enjoy this process, the videoing, and I enjoy the vlogging. That's kind of my hobby outside of work. So I'm going to explore things I can do for myself outside of work. I don't know yet, but some things where I can switch off. Coming here is brilliant. You saw yesterday I went for a massive long walk on the beach, which was unheard of for me. Absolutely unheard of this time last year. So that's a positive. I've got to take that in, feel it and work with it. Another thing we talked about and going back to the nibbling, and that kind of spoils it for me because... I'm really uber positive about this diet. I'm on it during the day. But then at night I can just find myself. And I know it's wrong. And I know I shouldn't do it. And I don't need to do it. But I'll nibble. We all do it. I hear it on Instagram. And people who message me. We all go through it. And it's them points there when we want to give up. And get rid of the diet. And we don't want to do it anymore. 
but I won't. I will, I will stick with it because I'm I'm determined to get my weight off. But it does hamper it by this constant coming off plan. So what we're going to try, and my consultant Martin, who really helps and clears our head, because I do it, like I said, I do it with a good friend of mine who doesn't really come on camera. We work together and we do this Cambridge and we support, we text. I have a one-to-one -one with him constantly daily. You know, the dangers, the Friday nights, the Saturday nights, the weekend, how are you doing, are you eating, etc. So that's a great support and with Martin, my consultant, um, which I'll link his details below. Um, he's sort of Lincoln based and he's been doing it over 10 years now. So he does know his stuff and he's a, he's has some great results looking at his back catalogue. So we might do a little bit in the future with with Martin, put, put, get him on my screen because he's really helped me and my colleague and others who he talks about. So thanks Martin, shout out. And one of the things we came up with, maybe hypnotherapy? I don't know, I'm skeptical. I've never done anything like that before. However, I'm kind of hit that brick wall at the moment with it. I know not to try nibbling, I know not to do distract myself, all the rest, but it's still happening. So hypnotherapy. What do you think about it? Put your comments below. I'm going to give it a go. He's going to get me some details and I'm going to go see this person hopefully in the next couple of weeks, which I will let you know. Like I say, I'm totally skeptical about it. Some people are into it and think it's the future. I've never done it before, never been hypnotized or, but I'm open-minded. If it helps, I'll give it a try because all the hard work I do and put in, I kind of tarnish it a little bit with this nibbling and it's not even nice food is it it's just like a biscuit here or a, a um, bit of chocolate here it, it's ridiculous so that's what I'm going to do this week so my weight loss so I put seven pounds on I've now moved I've lost five pounds of that which doesn't feel good because I've got weighed and I'm basically two pounds on from where I was two weeks ago if that makes sense so last time I sat on my consultant sat, stood on my consultant scales I was 22.4 and I went up to 22.11 of the week I didn't go see him and now I'm at 22.6 if that makes sense. So I've gone up, come down, but I'm still up two pounds from there. I know what I mean. So yeah, I've done well to get that back off. So I'm still on the bus, on it. Hope you guys are doing well. So that's been my week 31. Still exploring it even though I've been on it for a long time now. I'm still battling it like you guys out there. But let's keep talking and it's not easy journey it really isn't an easy journey but let's be positive about it let's explore avenues of why and how we can help each other i'm more than happy like i've said before drop me a message on instagram drop me comments below i'll always come back to you because believe me i know what battles you're going through that's where i'm at this week i had a good like i say good chat with martin yesterday i feel really good today as i'm filming this it's sunday morning in the caravan of love <laughs> um, <laughs> so keep going guys I will see you next week oh I've got a review coming out on because I've been back in the office and I've got milkshakes and, I've got, and I know you can shake them up but I, I just oof, can't stand bits in it and I know some but anyway I've got a handheld blender thing a USB charge. I've done a review on that I'm going to put that out in the week watch out for that um that's it really. So I will see you next week for week 32, I believe. And hopefully I've got some more news. I My way in, so I'm Sunday now, I got weighed yesterday. And my way in this week is Thursday. So my post might come out a little bit earlier next week if I get a chance to do it on Friday. And I might get some details for this hypnotherapist. So stay tuned and see how that goes. But hope you're all okay guys. Stay positive, stay focused, stay on plan if you can can't don't beat yourself up and let's get back on the bus the next day the next afternoon whatever it is it's not easy hit me up on instagram comment below see you next week guys bye